Well, if you're sick of watching a supermarket bill go through the roof each week, take a look at what they're doing in Britain. It's an online price comparison site between the big four supermarkets in the UK. It works, keeps the main players in check and shoppers ahead of the pack. So why can't we have the same system here? Claire Brady has more. My supermarket does the hard work for you. In Britain, if you need to know the price of something, it's easy. Real shopper power. And the supermarkets are kept honest. Canberra thinks this is all too hard. There you'll find all the familiar products with prices and special offers updated daily. The current system has failed consumers. It's not giving them the choice they deserve and it's not giving them the competition they deserve. Independent Senator Nick Xenophon applauds the British system and is why we can't have the same. Absolutely, the market only works if consumers have knowledge and real choice and right now they have neither. If one of the other supermarkets is cheaper overall, one easy click puts you over. He doesn't look like someone who can frighten two multinationals into action. But after News Limited's journalist John Rolfe put his hand up earlier this week to take on the supermarket giants, our viewers judged him as the superman in the supermarkets. People clearly want to do something about what they see as grocery prices that are simply too high. And since our Tuesday night show, he now has a backing from Canberra. Senator Nick Xenophon is a big advocate for breaking up the stranglehold held by the duopoly Coles and Woolworths here in Australia. When you have just two supermarket chains controlling 80 of the grocery market, that's not healthy for competition, it's certainly not good for consumers, and news for independents that want to break into the market. Our clever trolley checker will scan your trolley and endly offer you some smart saving. To recap, Rolf wants to run an online survey comparing supermarket prices item by item between the big two. People say that something has to be done about this and that they want to take a part in finding a solution. That the Australian government had its chance, it tipped in millions but pulled out at the last minute, has left more questions than choice. Because when you have two people, they have a lot of market power. And unless one of them buckles, uh, the other won't. Whereas when you have four, it's easier to get one play ball and if one does, then the others have to come inside the tent. Christopher Zinn of Choice magazine wants us to rally behind the UK system here and quickly. If they're really confident that they've got low price, then they should put them out, them out there. If they're not, then perhaps they do need to hide them away. Here's the thing. While the Australian government has walked away from the challenge, in the UK, the honesty system is alive and well. The four major food outlets in the UK are all willing to put their prices up for public scrutiny day after day. It's not even government run. The UK system doesn't look easy and it is and everyone including the supermarkets are on board. Here shoppers have tried and are still trying to do it themselves like Abel Hazlitt. Because I know what it's like to be on a budget and to struggle to try and buy groceries on a weekly basis. The father of three has a full-time job and has bestpricedirectory.com.au. You can go online and do actual price comparisons, but it's nowhere near in the same big as that in the UK. I mean, it's a fantastic resource, but what is also fantastic is why can't we have one? So it's up to to keep the bastards on us, get on board. Join the blog. The details are on our Today Tonight website. The more people that are interested in, in getting prices and making it more a, a user-driven thing, the better, because the supermarkets can't stop people from going into their stores. If they stop people from going to their stores, they go out of business. You'll be amazed how much you can save.